There are lots of ways we can learn. We learn reading and writing. We learn practicing and doing. Even failing. No matter if we win or lose. We learn drawing and playing or constructing. We learn rehearsing and we learn exploring too. But know what? We always focus in what we want to learn. Moreover, we need to. Let us focus on a phenomenological description related to focus. According to Google, phenomenology concentrates on the consciousness and the objects of direct experience. The next description of an intellectual work shows this idea. I'm in front of my computer making this presentation. I'm thinking and writing on my computer at the same time. I feel insecure about how to make my point clear. So I am I, thinking and writing and feeling. And there they are, an article, the idea, and my computer. Making fiction, the other rooms in my house could disappear because they don't constitute my being at this moment, but not my computer. We could say that focusing entails a relation between me and the object of my learning. The closer the better, and the fewer intermediates, the better too. It also happens with emotional development. As Professor Nass from Stanford University explains, success at social and emotional development improves with face-to-face -face conversations with other people. Summing up, education technology should be specific as we said in other video and, and transparent. transparent. It must help to focus and never distract our attention Usually, it is not the learning goal. It has not to be present if it isn't needed, otherwise interferes. It is never a premise, but the last decision. 